the south. Massoud and his troops had already fought against the Soviet occupation of their country. Massoud became a favorite for Western journalists. They say he spoke with an extraordinary aura of confidence. Then, two days before suicide hijackers descended on the United States, Massoud was assassinated in his mountain headquarters. His death was a huge blow to the shaky alliance of groups united only in their battle against the Taliban in Kabul. Massoud murder, eyewitness. Welcome to today's top story. If it weren't for the terror attacks in the United States, the assassination of Ahmed Shah Massoud, military commander of the anti-Taliban Northern Alliance of Afghanistan, would have been of minor interest to many. After September 11, however, many experts quickly recognized that the attack on Massoud bore the hallmark of the terrorist network harbored by the Taliban, for whom Massoud was the most hated and feared opponent. The Northern Alliance is composed largely of Tajiks. Along with Uzbeks, Turkmens and Hazaras, they have been struggling against the rule of the mostly Pashtun Taliban. The Pashtun make up 40% of the Afghan population, the largest single ethnic group. Massoud had survived a dozen or so previous assassination attempts. This time, the assassins disguised themselves as journalists and were willing to die in order to kill Massoud. An eyewitness to the murder accuses Osama bin Laden of being responsible for the killing. Massoud Halili, the Northern Alliance ambassador to India, gave DWTV an exclusive interview. Special security troops protect him 24 hours a day at a clinic in a secret location in a central European country. Only his immediate family can visit him. Masood Khalili, the only survivor of the suicide bombing that killed the Lion of Pangaea. We were in the room around 12 o'clock at noon. The journalists came. They started with some questions before filming. The one who was shorter, flashy, fair, he was interviewing and saying that one of the questions was, before interviewing, that when you go to Kabul, what you will do to Osama bin Laden? The interview started, I just translated, and the minute commander, the usual, very solid, confident, in the meantime, hospitable to those namely journalists. They started to say one word, then the bomb blasted. It was about more than half a meter from us, the lens. And uh, I saw blue, dark blue fire was coming, rushing towards us. Then I got unconscious. What happens to the assassins? One who was interviewing, I believe he had another bomb in his waist. He got killed himself there immediately and became parts, leg one part and as they said bef after that to me. The other one was also heavily wounded and the third one who was waiting outside he was shouting and celebrating that then he was caught unfortunately and he was killed because he was I don't know the, the, the details of that so out of six people who were there in the room me survived Masood Khalili was hit by more than 100 pieces of shrapnel. Some fragments pierced his passport. Khalili is certain the bomb was built by followers of Osama bin Laden. The bomb was made as a video film. Our people could not distinguish between that as a video film which was covered and the ordinary films. Why are you so sure? that this attack is a work of bin Laden and his supporters? More than 2,500 of them so far have come and fought against us on behalf of global terrorism.
those two are Arabs, and I'm very confident that was of Osama, and very confident that being consulted by ISI of Pakistan, confident that Taliban knew this very well. But do you have some indications for this? Themselves seems, are being Arabs, coming from the areas of the Taliban, and they have also some films that they have made in my country, the people that they are, they were immediately confident with proofs that it was Osama's and ISI of Pakistan's work. The death of Commander Massoud is a serious blow to the Northern Alliance. But Khalili is confident that the Alliance won't collapse. The Northern Alliance or the National Front is very much united coordinated and just half an hour before I received a call that they are highly confident and many commanders who have seen discover this act of Osama bin Laden in their soil who is an alien in Afghanistan who has not been respect is invited by Afghanistan people who has created a lot of problems for Afghanistan people we are standing against terrorism now Many Afghans now hope their former king, Mohammed Zahir Shah, will be able to reunite the country and end decades of war. Well, we pray, as I said. He's an old man. His heart is for Afghanistan, no doubt. We all work together to make that mechanism of post-Taliban. Uh, I'm, I'm optimistic that that will work. And uh, they are now working on a, a kind of loya jirga, or a pre loya jirga, with 120 people. And our delegation was there, and they have gone back to Afghanistan. Well, I'm optimist that if they are following it and pursuing it objectively and practically, uh, I think it will be done. I mean, we will be successful. The 55-year-old Khalili says the medical care he's receiving is good, though the treatment of his wounds is painful. But even more painful, he says, is the loss of his friend. This photo, just a day before, Commander was martyred by those terrorists. We are in a helicopter coming from one part to Hoja Bahauddin, the border of Afghanistan. Commander was reading a book and I took his photo. This is exactly 20, 23 hours before his death. And this is his last photo on this earth. His doctors say Masood Khalili will remain hospitalized for several more weeks. When he's released, he plans to return to Afghanistan with the greatest possible haste. Masood murder, eyewitness, our top story.